McAllister. I figured we uh, interrupt our regularly scheduled stuff to bring you a cheerful and positive video about how are you doing? So yeah, I like to start off with this. Uh, it's a good week to have a good week, if you haven't already guessed that. This video is all about how to have that good week. We have been at this COVID-19 thing for like a month now. So it's time for a check-in on your mental health, on your physical health, and on your emotional health to figure out how you guys are doing during this really weird time. So our objective for today is I can identify ways to help myself through COVID-19. Remember, COVID-19 is the shortened version of coronavirus. And the big thing that we're learning today is how you guys can help yourself. A lot of things I'm hearing from kids right now is, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. What am I even doing? Or the alternative. There's so much to do, I just can't handle it. Anyway, this video is a good time to stop, take a breath, and focus on five things that can help you through this unprecedented time that we're in. So, what are we learning today? Now, through some research and some uh, surveys I've done between teachers and kids and just general people in the community, as well as some stuff that I've learned online, these are five things that I think would help you guys at home during this time. So remember, these are Mr. Callister's personal opinions. You do not have to agree with them, nor do you have to do them. But I figured it was time for me to give you guys my advice of how I am handling this situation. Number one, keep a schedule. This is so hard. Duh. We like to be lazy. I love being lazy. I love sitting down on that couch and doing nothing all day, but that's not good for your body and that's not good for your mind. So what I want you guys to do is try to make a schedule. Now, do you have to go full blown and do every five minutes? I will be doing this. No. Okay, these are suggestions. Remember, if you are not at this point yet, that's totally fine. Take a breath, schedule one thing per day for yourself. Keeping our mind and our bodies on a schedule is really healthy, especially if we get back into the swing of things in school next year, it's not gonna be as hard. It also helps you feel more productive throughout the day. So if you're feeling like you're kind of bored and you don't really like what's going on right now, you can change your mindset by keeping a schedule. Use that growth mindset that we talked about. Miss McAllister, Miss McAllister. Yes, Timmy? How do I make a schedule? Well, Timmy, I'm glad you asked. This schedule is something that some kids have actually been doing from our Zoom meetings. If this is too much for you, remember, you can take it little chunks at a time. You do not have to start with this schedule tomorrow and keep it for forever. That's not the point, okay? So here are some things that I think should definitely be in your schedule. Number one, you need a wake up time. As hard as that is, hearing an alarm go off in the morning will help your body recognize that it's time to get up and start the day. So even if you really don't want to, it is very important to keep a wake up time. The second thing I need you guys to have in your schedule is some type of exercise. If you look at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and four o'clock, those are all times during the day where this person could do a little bit of exercise. It doesn't have to be a lot, you don't have to go through your latest CrossFit routine, but you need to get up and get your body moving. Unfortunately, in your daily schedule, there should be some things that you're not exactly excited about doing. Maybe you don't wanna do your chores or you don't wanna do schoolwork. Keeping things that you don't want to do in your schedule will hold you accountable and help you become more productive in the long run because sometimes the things that we don't want to do are the things that we need to do the most. It is also equally as important to have some downtime. So at two o'clock and four o'clock and five o'clock in this schedule, this person has scheduled relaxed time. Maybe you watch some TV, maybe you play video games, maybe you just stare up at the clouds and do nothing. Maybe you take a nap. Regardless of what you choose to do, it's extremely important to have some time in the day not really scheduled for anything. I would also like to point out that this person's schedule from 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, they do schoolwork. You are only doing 
one hour of schoolwork a day. One hour. You sitting at home with your siblings and your parents and everyone else that's not allowed to go anywhere. That is not the environment for you to sit down and do six hours of schoolwork a day. It's not going to work. It's going to drive you bananas. Don't do it. One hour. One. One hour a day. That could be something as simple as watching these videos, working on your packet, or even helping your sibling with homework. Okay? Your teachers are giving you a lot of opportunities to do something. Pick one. Do one hour a day. Change it up. Some of you might be saying, Miss McAllister, you just told us to make a schedule. You're right, guys. I did. Here's the thing with the schedule. Even though your schedule needs to be pretty much the same every day, what you do during those times needs to change. Think about a school day. In our class, we do the exact same thing on our schedule every single day. Do we read the same book every day? No. Do we do the exact same thing in math every day? No. Do we do the exact same brain breaks where you stand up and do five jumping jacks? No. As a teacher, we change things within our schedule. Some of you are telling me, Mr. Kouser, I'm bored. Stop. Change it up. You have the power to change your own schedule. So let's say you wake up at nine o'clock, you eat your breakfast, and then you go on a walk around the block. Well, if you're thinking to yourself, oh, I don't want to walk around the block. Go the other direction. Who said you had to go that way the whole time? Do something different. Maybe walk around the block backwards. Change it up. The cool thing about what's happening right now is that you guys have to be the ones to make your own lesson plans. Teachers change things up all the time without telling you that we're doing it. And now that you're sitting at home, you're realizing more than ever that you are the ones that have to change up your schedule. You are the ones that have to change what you do every day to keep it interesting, keep your brain and your body active. But how do I do it? I do not want this to be the next thing that you have to do on your schedule. If you like your schedule and you don't think you need to change it up, don't. Skip this slide, go back, rewind it, erase it from your memory. But if you're bored at home, if the word you're hearing in your mind is bored, it's time to do something. If you don't know what to do, here's a few examples. Change the times that you do things at every day. Maybe you do your schoolwork as soon as you wake up, and then you go on an exercise. Maybe you watch TV as soon as you wake up, and then you do your schoolwork. You can switch around the items in your schedule. That's totally okay. Find something new to do outside. You have the opportunity to explore your own backyard. Maybe you help with the animals in a different way, or maybe you go and clean up the yard, or maybe you just look outside. Have you ever noticed the house numbers on the other side of you? Have you ever noticed how close the houses are to you? Do you even know who your neighbors are? Take some time and just sit down and look around. I guarantee there's something to do. If you are still needing help in this area, if you don't really know how to change up your schedule, Every single one of your teachers is here for you. When I say all your teachers, I don't just mean your second grade teachers. You have a whole building full of staff at Lakeview Primary that will help you with this problem. So there are no excuses. Unexpected dance break, go! Please! Hang out with me. Please. As humans, we are social creatures. That means that we don't do well staying away from each other, which is causing a lot of problems right now. But you are lucky enough to live in a world where we can do this, okay? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different things just on this slide alone that you can do to stay in touch. So, at least once a week, put some type of interaction into your schedule. Whether it's a phone call, an email, a text, or a Zoom meeting with your favorite teacher. Do something in your schedule to interact with other people, not just your family members. We all know that you love them, but right now you're about to kill them. So make sure that you're doing something not with your family members that's still social. So make sure that you're doing something to keep in touch with somebody outside your family. In all seriousness, this is what I need you guys to pay attention to. If you're feeling like your schedule isn't working it, you can't change it up, and you can't get in touch with people the way that you want to, 
you need this slot. It's so hard to ask for help, but you have to, especially right now. If you can't do the things you want to do, if you're feeling unproductive, you're feeling unmotivated, and you really just feel like you're in the dumps, please reach out in any way that you can to me, to other teachers, to family members, to neighbors, to other kids, and ask for help. You don't want to be this guy. Do not be this guy out in the middle of the ocean stranded because he tried to do everything himself. This guy should have asked for help earlier and so should you. If you are feeling overwhelmed by what is going on, ask for help. Last thing, do your part, okay? If you go to the grocery store, wash your hands when you get home. The reason that I am wearing a mask and gloves is because everybody needs to be doing that while they're inside the school right now so we can keep everything clean as we're cleaning up the year. So do your part. There's lots of funny videos out there right now of people washing their hands for 30 seconds along with really funny soundtracks. So you should go look a couple of those up. Otherwise, just make sure you're washing your hands. I know we tell you guys to do this all the time, but for real, wash your hands. That's gross. That's it. So let's go over our objective one more time. Our objective said, I can identify ways to help myself through COVID-19. So these are the five things that we went over today. Number one, keep a schedule. Remember, if that huge long schedule that I showed you is too much for you, stop. Take it one thing at a time. Remember, you need to have a wake up time, you need to have exercise, you need to have something you don't wanna do, and you have to have downtime. Those four things need to be in your schedule somewhere. Number two, change it up. If you're feeling like your schedule isn't working for you or every day you're feeling bored and kind of useless, it's time to change it up. If you don't know how to change it up, reach out to a teacher or someone close to you and maybe they can help you get some pep in your schedule. Number three, stay in touch. We have Zoom meetings every single Wednesday where kids can come together and kind of share what's been going on. We've seen almost everybody's pets that have been on. It's been super cool. Other kids share their schedules that they do throughout the day or some books that they've read. It's been awesome. If you can't keep in touch the way that you want to, slip on down to number four and ask for help, okay? You are not going through this alone. We are all doing this together. So if you can't do one through three, do number four. Every single one of you can ask for help. Finally, number five, do your part. Don't be gross. Wash your hands, wash your body, keep yourself clean, keep your area clean, and then hopefully we can get over with this soon enough and I can see you. So remember your growth mindset. It's a good week to have a good week. You are in charge of making it a good week. These are just a few of the videos that are up on my YouTube channel right now. Remember every Monday, there's a virtual lesson where I go over the answers for the packet work and give you a little bit more instruction. Then on Fridays, I also do a read aloud. So we've gone through a couple of read alouds now. Each one has kind of a lesson you're supposed to learn in it. But if you just wanna to skip to the video, that's fine too. Remember that number three of the suggestions was to keep in touch. Our Zoom meeting will always have the same meeting ID and it will always have the same password. So please feel free to join at any time during 10 to 11 o'clock on Wednesday mornings. I will also be posting the link on my blooms at nine o'clock, an hour before that. So if you want to, you can click on the link and get straight there. I'll be there, yeah, yeah, I'll be there for you. teachers miss you and we love you dearly and the point of this video was just to give you guys a couple of suggestions on what to do during this crazy time remember that this video was all about my opinions you can take them or you can leave them these are just some things that are helping me through this really weird time hope you like it remember to check back here for all of your lessons